Hey Casey! Alright, so today is August 30th, it's a Sunday, and guess what? Look, I'm back! Alright, this video is going to come in about three parts, just to clear things up and be organized because we know that I'm OCD. So, the first part I'm going to explain what all has changed on our channel. Obviously, Casey's real name is not Brooklyn, and my real name is not Emma, it's Melissa. We decided that stage names were just too complicated and we didn't want to use them, and to be honest, I'm a little too lazy to use them because I kept forgetting to say them and I don't like editing videos. So I just, we just decided to go back to the normal names. The second thing that I want to point out is, obviously you've noticed this hasn't been a 50-50 cooperation effort between Casey and I. That is because I was stuck in a technological time warp in Mississippi over the summer. Seriously, I had internet and it took me 45 minutes to upload a three minute video. There was no way I was going to be able to make any videos that would work at all. I talk with my hands so I keep blocking my face. Sorry about that. Alright, the second part is what this video is going to be mainly about. Um, have you ever had it happen where half of you wants to like something but the other half tells you that you really shouldn't like it because of your other morals or other ideas that you like? I had something really similar to that happen when I went to see Harry Potter, and I was really excited about that, so I got to the theater, and I'm waiting through the previews, which there were about 30 minutes of previews, which is crazy, but they got to a preview for Fame, which the theater half of me was is incredibly excited to see, because I love Fame, it's a great musical, but the Harry Potter side of me, the opening was they showed Hogwarts and they showed the Hogwarts Express and then they were talking about how there's another school that can teach you to fly and I didn't really like it. I felt like they were making fun of Harry Potter so the Harry Potter side of me is telling me to protest the movie because I should be angry with it and then the theater part of me is telling me that I'm being stupid because it's fame and it's a good musical and I should go st and I should like it and I should like the preview and it's just weird. Does that ever happen to you? I, I don't know. I'm I might just be crazy which is which is a likely <laughs> event. Let's let's just be honest. That's probably what's going on. Is I'm just crazy. I'll I'll put a link to the preview in the sidebar. I, I'm not. I have absolutely no idea where it is. I'm even directionally challenged on the internet. How sad is that? Okay. Ooh. Third part. I just got I got back to school this week, which I'm so excited about. And the week has been amazing. I started classes on Tuesday. I started my job in the library, which is fantastic. And on Tuesday or on Wednesday night, I went and saw a Bo Burnham show. I'll also put a link to him in the sidebar. See, yeah, I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it. So I'll put a link to him in the sidebar because he's hilarious. And we, there were two other comedians there if you want to look them up, Kevin Hart and Kyle Cease. They're also really funny. And then on Thursday, we went to a masquerade, which was amazing. I don't, I don't know where my school suddenly got party planning, but they, they did it well this year. And what I'm going to show you right now... Those are pictures from my dorm room that we finally decorated. Did you see the DFTBA wall? It's amazing. I love waking up every morning and seeing giant DFTBA on the wall. It just makes my day a little bit better and brighter. And naturally, I have a pop art ducky poster because, well, let's be honest, that's how I roll. And, okay. I don't think I have anything else to talk about, so I'll see you soon. Peace.